everyone. Thank you for joining us. I'm Donja McGaskin, and this is... Charlie Negron. And we're here from Greater Westtown Training Partnership, and we are here to talk to you today about our woodworking training program. And if you, or maybe you know someone who's interested in starting a new career, maybe you're someone who likes to work with your hands, or you're crafty, or you can pay attention to detail, then this may be the training that is right for you. Uh, so Charlie is one of the instructors. You've been with uh, Greater West Town for how long now? I've been uh, with Greater West Town for 22 years. Um, I actually started off as a student there. Okay. And so as a woodworker, um, can you tell us about this training program? Sure. Uh, so the training is uh, 15 weeks hands-on training. Uh, basically, in the 15 weeks, what we want to do as an uh, agency is teach people who are unemployed or looking for that job skills um, to work inside of a manufacturing setting. So we have our facility that's uh, pretty much uh, well equipped with traditional machines that you might see in a woodworking shop. Um, you'll see table saws, routers, band saws. You also see other sophisticated equipment like uh, CNC equipment. So we'll teach students um, how to use those machines. Safety is a big uh, element and component of what we do. We'll teach students how to process raw lumbers, panel products, uh, edge banding. We'll work on small projects initially to go ahead and start building up that skill level. So with the small project, they'll get a blueprint. Um, and basically with the blueprint, they'll also get measurements. And they'll, what they'll do is start reverse engineering that small little project, right? Okay. And that gives them that kind of comfort level, how to use tape measures and rulers and things of that nature. And it'll give them an idea how that these things are put together. And then we'll take them to the area where they'll go ahead and start cutting all of these different materials from processing the raw lumber to the panel products to laminate and all that stuff. Okay. So. Well, I believe uh, you just saw some footage. Well, you saw a little bit about our curriculum. And on the screen now, what you were seeing was some footage from our shop. So uh, I'd like to show more of that slide, uh, some of those slides, if we may. So that's our shop, actually. It's uh, over 14,000 square feet. As you can see, very heavy industrial material or machines that we have. Uh, because what we do is we provide you job training in those machines, and we help you get uh, employment afterwards, right? Job right, placement. Right. Yep. So one of the things I did not mention are um, the basically the hours, right, of training. So uh, the training is basically uh, Monday through Fridays mm -hmm. from 8 in the morning to 2.30 in the afternoon. Okay. And uh, we go five days a week until the 15 weeks is over. Okay. And you mentioned, um, you did mention the training hours. What about who's eligible for this? So uh, the qualifications for someone who is seeking these skills um, is a person has to be at least 18. Mm -hmm. They have to test at a sixth grade level math and reading because of the math and stuff that's involved with putting these things together. Uh, the person also, also needs to be low income in order to qualify for funding. So we'll look at um, different types of funding, scre funding streams so that way, um, you know, persons uh, uh, not having to pay out of their pockets for the cost of the training program. Okay. And then the last uh, component is basically a stu uh, student or applicant needs to pass a drug screening, right? Uh, because we are working with heavy equipment, mm -hmm. industrial equipment, right? So we want to make sure that students are focused on the job. Okay. And, mm -hmm. and why is that? Why is the, the focus important and, and to be able to, to not have a distraction like being or something like that? Yeah, well, you know, we're working with uh, high-end equipment. Um, all the equipment that we work with mm -hmm. do one thing, they cut. Okay. And, and they don't care what they cut, right? Okay. So um, they're not prejudiced or not, nothing like that. Mm -hmm. So we mm -hmm. want to make sure that the students are learning how to just be aware of the surroundings um, when they're cutting materials and stuff like that. They have to be um, really alert and kind of focused on what they're doing because you know, if accidents happen and stuff, they, they'll happen really quickly. Okay, so it's a safety issue. Yeah, it's a safety issue. And and one of the good things is that there's always an instructor present. So we uh, we don't, we haven't had a s concern with anyone getting injured in, uh, for quite a few years already. 
Okay. So, okay. Got, that's 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 good that's to know. That's a good track record. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Very good. Um, and I do remember you mentioning, you know, something about the process in terms of them coming into the shop, learning, working on the uh, products, learning how to cut. Um, what about what are some of the other classes or courses that that they take? Yeah. So. Everything that we'll do is um, geared towards uh, the student trying to get a whole overview of what the, what's going to be needed when mm -hmm. they're going on the job. So other things that there's um, there's uh, English classes, okay, computer skills, basic computer skills. Okay. Um, there's also job readiness coaching. So you know we're trying to prep our students to be able to set up that resume, right? Um, Get some coaching. We might have employers come in and do mock interviews with students, so that way get they get prepared for that. Oh wow! Um, there's also measurement reading um, classes that they'll do. The first four weeks of training, we'll do that. Blueprint reading, right? Because they need to be able to look at a shop drawing and kind of break it down to its individual components. Um, and then there's another um, there's another class that we do. It's called TIP. Um, okay. It's, uh, Tip, huh? it's, it's the acronym is uh, I think you know it a little training bit impossible into possible right right so it's uh, it's a class where students get a, a better overview of kind of motivation and some other holistic types of uh, thought process and stuff when they're going through all of this from working or not working right mm -hmm. to getting on a job and being more kind of fulfilled fully um, versus just uh, the classroom stuff. So. Okay, and if we can return to the slide uh, presentation, I think we maybe have some examples, uh, more examples of a, ah, there we are. Uh, if we can hold that for a moment, that is, looks like a shop drawing, right? Yeah, and that is that is the first project that our students are working on. So, um, so if you're looking at those, you'll see five uh, pictures, and what we'll do is uh, look, have the students kind of understand which types of views that our student is looking at. So uh, the two left uh, pictures that you'll see that one on top of each other is a, a top view. The, the one right underneath that is a front view. Okay. Uh, the one next to that, um, I'm sorry, did I say right? I said left. <laughs> I meant left. So the two on the left uh, side is basically the the top and the front view, and then the end views are the other two views that you'll see on the bottom of the screen. And then you have a pictorial view of basically what the stool kind of represents, right? So, um, and what you're doing is looking at all, again, the different components of m what makes that. So, wow. you'll see in the notes section uh, the different um, things that we're going to be working with. And in that pictorial drawing, you might actually get uh, names of the different types of parts uh, that would um, be associated with that particular project. Okay, and that, in the next slide, um, we might have a finished view of what that looks like. Um, ah, there it is. So that's actually what they built. So they saw a, a shop drawing of what it was, and then they had to to make that. Right, yeah, and that's pretty typical of what you might see when you're going on a job, right? So um, one of the things I did not mention are the different fields of uh, woodworking, right? We could probably even talk about that a little bit later, but yeah, okay. that was the finished pro uh, project of what the students do. And that project, the initial project takes quite a long time mm -hmm. um, because what we're doing with that one project is actually we're talking about different skills, right? We're talking about machine operation, what types of machines. Okay. Uh, we're talking about um, processing all of those separate parts, right, and it takes, right? We're also looking at the quality of the parts when they're making them, right, because mm -hmm. we've got to make sure that they're square and things of that nature. They're going to go through wood identification to pick out their uh, specific species of wood that might be in, in the lumber portion of that project. Uh, the laminating is another type of skills set um, solid that revolves around solid surface. So we're learning, I mean, the students are learning a lot in that first maybe four weeks while they're building that project. And the great thing about that smaller project is when they're done, mm -hmm. we evaluate it. Actually, they'll do a self-evaluation on the project, see where they went wrong. 
uh, see where they could do better, right? Okay. And then we'll grade that, right? And then they get to take those projects home when they're done. Okay. Wow. And and would you say this program is for, or who's the ideal candidate? The ideal candidate. Mm -hmm. Um. Wow. So the ideal candidate is a person who likes puzzles. Um, person likes thinking on their feet. Okay. A person who likes attention to detail. Mm -hmm. um, not wo not worried about getting dirty, okay. <laughs> right? Because okay. the shop is basically a dust factory. Mm -hmm. um, you're going to be cutting cutting materials, and you're going to get dust flying and stuff like that. Um, the other quali uh, qualities that an employer loves are the same things that makes successes in any industry, right? Okay. A person who's going to be punctual every day, right? Mm. Reliable. Um, willing to learn and really wor willing to work with others to you know make whatever they're doing uh, a project that's going to be able to sell. Okay. Right. So those qualities, those soft skills, I'm talking about, right? So okay. you know things that um, things that we can't bring, right? As an instructor, right? Yeah, or right, can't teach right, right. is basically what the students bring, you know, to that training program. Okay, so if you're just joining us, uh, we are Greater West Town Training Partnership. We are offering a woodworking training program. We have classes that run throughout the year. Uh, they're Mondays through Fridays, 8 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. Uh, you look below uh, the number on the screen, you can call us at 312-563-9570. Uh, if you give us a call, we'll be able to talk to you, see what you're interested in and we'll have you come in for an orientation uh which what's that like the the orientation so orientation is basically where the applicant right mm -hmm. maybe wants to come and see what we're all about right okay and what we want to do is just make sure that we give them enough information so that way they make a really well informed decision if the training program is good enough for them so they might call Mm -hmm. They might look on, um, you know, website and stuff and get some that initial information. And when they call, we'll have them come in. They'll do a tour of the shop. Okay. Um, the last uh, few, uh, maybe 30 people that came through the shop were actually able to see the students working on their last project. So they get a really well-informed idea of how the shop is working and the workflow and how busy it tends to be. Um, so they get all of that. And then, you know, as they're going through that orientation, an instructor might take them through and just, you know, kind of tell them what's all involved and everything that's going on in the shop, right? Yeah, right, right. And then, um, you know, give them all the information they need. You know, same thing that we're doing with the, with the audience out in uh, can TV land, okay, right? right. Uh, just giving them information about what we do uh, in our training program and see if it's a good fit. Okay. Yeah. And if you want to reach out to us more, I believe we also have uh, more in the slide presentation. There we go. Uh, there's our Instagram account, GWTP underscore Wood. Uh, we constantly post new things, pictures, things that's going on in the shop. You can also reach us via Facebook. Uh, that's facebook.com uh, uh, forward slash greater west town. Um, and then we also have a website. Uh, there's a pic of our tool room um, to give you a little sneak peek of. Yeah, so yeah, we have a, our shop is well equipped and so is our tool room. So the great thing is that, you know, the, the people who are coming into the training program don't have to really spend a penny, mm -hmm. right, in order to enjoy the training program. Everything is provided for their use while in training. So we'll give them binders. Um, they can use all of the equipment that we have in the shop. We have all these tools that they're able to use also and stuff. Okay. So, and we also help with a stipend at the end of the week. So if they're coming on the bus, right, mm -hmm. or they're driving and stuff, we'll give them a gas card up to $25 a week. Oh, wow. Or about, about seven day bus card and stuff so they can get back and forth to training. Okay, so you also get a transportation stipend. The training is provided at no cost. If they're income eligible. If, they're inco if you're income eligible. Mm -hmm. um, you don't need to bring any tools. What about the projects you make and the materials that you need for that? So all of those materials, are again, they're provided. So okay. uh, we do have a lot of employer partners who kind of know what we're all about. Mm -hmm. And we are very fortunate that they are able to um, donate some excess materials that they might have cut off from projects that, you know, they're no longer doing and we'll have materials that the students can utilize to go ahead and build these projects. So we're very fortunate in that, um, 
in that manner. Okay. And so what you really just said is that the participants make the projects and they take the work home with them? I said that, yeah, earlier. All the projects that they do, yeah, wow. they take them home and stuff. If, if not, you know, I sell them on Etsy or, right, no, right, I'm right. just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. No, they get to take their projects home. The last class and stuff have fabulous projects. We are mm. able to do a little bit of finishing mm -hmm. um, with that second project. The second project is a little bit more comp comprehensive, so they'll get more detailed, more hands-on work and different um, uh, th things like veneering, um, solid surface fabrication. Mm -hmm. Solid surface, if you're not understanding, is uh, things that our countertops are made out of, right? So we work with Corian, which is a plastic product. Okay. So our students learn how to fabricate that, mm. hand veneering, and this class was fortunate enough to do some uh, hand finishing with the projects. Oh, wow. And they had been excellent, really excellent. excellent. Yeah, they really did an outstanding job on their work. So this really sounds like a good program for anyone who's interested in starting a new career. Uh, if you like working with your hands, you get to work on projects, you learn uh, a lot of what goes into working in a shop environment with the machines that you use in a shop. Uh, we teach you safety. And with all that, you make the work, you take it home, and you'll be uh, working in no time. Right, that's the, that's the plan, right? Um, so for people who come to our training program, sometimes they get a little intimidated because they see, you know, oh my gosh, there's math involved, or oh my gosh, I don't know how to do that because that looks really, you know, it's yeah. really hard to do. Um, once they get the, an idea of how the workflow goes, it, it's, something, it's something that comes natural, but it's done with also repetition. So we'll keep kind of working on that skill set and build that skill set. Um, but it's going to usually be on a job where they're really taking that skill level and taking it to a different level. Um, I did mention the different fields of woodworking mm -hmm. earlier, yeah. right? So there are five fields. Um, one of them is uh, cabinetry, right? It's pretty typical of what you might see in a home, right? Okay. And you go into the kitchen, you'll see kitchen cabinets, uppers and lower uh, kitchen cabinets. Um, uh, furniture, mm -hmm. right? So dressers, tables, chairs, things of that nature. Um, there's musical instruments. Okay. Now, Chicago used to be a big manufacturer of, you know, guitar makers and stuff, and a lot of those moved out of the way, but uh, are out of the city. But there are still some manufacturers still in the Chicago area that mm. do also uh, musical instruments. Um, there's architectural millwork. Now okay. that's a term that a lot of people don't really understand. Yeah. That's if you ever go to like an old uh, church, right? And you see this beautiful wooden paneling and stuff, and yeah. and pews and stuff that that's bolted down that can't be moved, that's architectural millwork. So okay. you'll see a lot of that stuff in the buildings downtown where they got these really fancy stairs and reception areas and stuff, that's all architectural millwork. Uh, lumber yards, right? The lumber yards are the ones that provide the raw stock and materials uh. that woodworking companies need. Um, and one of the last um, kind of industries that we've start uh, seeing that kind of uh, flows into what we're doing and they have those same transfer, uh, transferable skills mm -hmm. are companies that make uh, settings for like movies and theaters and props and things of that oh, nature. So scenic. there's, there's yeah, there's uh, scenic um, uh, backgrounds and things of that nature. Okay. So there's companies out there that use those same type of skill sets to build props and things of that nature and stuff. So we've been uh, we've been fortunate enough to actually have some students get placed on those types of jobs also. Wow. Uh, so job placement sounds like it's a big component. You learn the skills, you get the training, and I mean, there's not too much I could think that you would ask for or want in, in a training like this. Um, if you are looking to get in contact with us and want to come in, call the number at the bottom of the screen. We're Greater West Town, 312-563-9570. If uh, we can have a look at the last <coughs> slide in that presentation, I think it also has more contact information. Um, we do have a website available, and uh, that website is actually www dot gwtp uh, dot edu 
if you can go to that last page in the slide here, uh, that website, it has that number and also our other number. There we go. I wanted people to see this because it's actually www.gwtp.org. And if you actually go to that, it's two W's, not three. And if you go directly to that web page, it's going to take you to our woodworking training program and you'll see a button that says register. And when you press on that, it will take you to um, an Eventbrite page that will let you fill out a form to register to come into one of our orientations. We host orientations weekly and um, that's when you get to come in, see the shop. There we go. Uh, that page, so if you, you go on that site and you submit your information, uh, it will schedule you to come in for our training. Um, and so with that said, um, come in, take a look, see what we're about, uh, spread the word. And um, I want to thank our guest, Charlie Negron. A, just a couple uh, yeah. things real quick. Um, just want to give you the location of our facility. We're, we're right in the heart of the city. Um, just uh, south of the Humboldt Park area. Okay. Um, Garfield Park, right? We're in the midst of all of that. Um, that's our only uh, location okay. for our training facility. And the other one was um, the address to our place is 500 North Sacramento Boulevard. Um, and if you're thinking about um, coming and give us a call, and I think the number again is on the screen, it's 312-563-9570. You can ask for, for me, Charlie Negron, or Dan Jamal Gaskin, and you could talk to us, and uh, we'll be happy to go ahead and give you some more information over the phone. Yeah, that sounds good. So once again, just to kind of recap, Woodworking Training Program is 15 weeks, Monday through Fridays from 8 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. We focus on hands-on instruction in woodworking training. You learn the machinery, uh, the shop tools, you get to make projects, you get to take them home, uh, it is provided at no cost if you're income eligible, and income eligible means several things, right? right. So if someone's on public aid or unemployment compensation, or maybe you have a family of four and under a certain income bracket, that will qualify you for funding. Okay. So income eligible, we also provide a transportation stipend uh, to get you to and from training. If you're accepted, that's in the form of a bus card or gas card to get you to training weekly. Uh, you get to take your work home. Is there anything else you could think of? Yeah, one, one, one last thing, I yeah. forgot. Uh, we have our training, next training cycle is going to be starting uh, September 19th. Right or is it eighteenth? Yeah, that's uh, that's Monday. <laughs> that's Monday, yeah. right? So um, we're still looking at uh, maybe filling up a couple of slots. So if people are really interested, um, if not, we do have this this cycle uh, or the training cycles go about three times a year. Okay, and if you are watching this program on a later air date, uh, in the event that happens, still give us a call. Like I said, we have training sessions going on uh, year round. We don't have set semesters per se but you come in uh, for an orientation and we'll let you know when the next training cycle is coming up and we can see if we can get you in um, so with that said I would like to thank uh, thank Charlie thank you thank you to the production team that is uh, behind the scenes who helped us uh, with this uh, thank you to can TV and um, we'll see you around give us a call